Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the 30 seconds of silent reflection. This is a dress code and lanyard check. Any students not in dress code or not wearing a lanyard need to go to the Student Success Center located in room 103B. Please sit down for today's announcements. Thank you for participating in our school-wide week of respect. Get your blue on. Hello, we are the Vegas Golden Knights. We believe that everyone has the right to live in a community where they feel included, accepted, valued, and respected, regardless of their differences. I make a commitment to stand up against bullying. I will treat others with respect and kindness. I will have the courage not to bully. I will not be a bystander. It is my responsibility to report bullying. I pledge to be respectful of others and stand up against bullying whenever I see it. Hello Greenspun, this week has been a great respect week. A lot of people dressed up for our respect week spirit week. This week also our student council has been interviewing people on what respect means to them and what does respect look like to you. Today we are going to show you a video of us interviewing teachers and students. Hope you enjoy! <music> All right, so your name is? Prince. And what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. All right, Prince. So what does respect mean to you? I think what respect means to me is being able to know how to treat others, when, even when they're going through something, and know how to or what to say, mm -hmm. even at any emotion they're going through, mm -hmm. know what to say wherever they are, mm -hmm. just learning how to be kind to others. I think that's what respect means to me. All right, that's a pretty good response, Prince. Thank you very much. Hello, I am here with? Will. And what grade are you in? I'm in eighth. All right, Will, what does respect mean to you? Okay, so to me, respect means to be reliable, to be genuine, and to be there for others. All right, that's a good response. Thank you. All right, I am here with? Tyrone. Uh, what grade are you in? Seven. All right, Tyrone. What does respect mean to you? I think respect is anything that you can do to make a person feel as good as you do in a certain time. Like, if ever you felt good, make that person feel good, and that's respect. All right, thank you very much, Tyrone. No problem. Bye. <laughs> I am here with Mr. Barkley, the Algebra 1 teacher, and I am here interviewing him today. All right, Mr. Barkley, what does, yes, res yes. What does respect look like Okay, to so you? It, it starts with an R, mm -hmm. and then it has an E. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, the word or the actual respect? The actual respect. Oh, like showing respect to other people, which a lot of you are really good at, most of you, which means that some of you might need to work on being kind to others, being nice to each other, and up. You know what I mean by up, right? Staying in your seats, 
listening to your teacher, right? Especially if it's me. I know you all listen to me, right? Some of those things are super easy. How would you want to be treated? How would you want to be treated? How do you want to be treated by your friends, by your teachers, by your parents? Acting that way, showing others respect, treating them the way you want to be treated will return on you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Barkley. Thank you, Jace. Have a great day. Yeah. All right. So I am here with Ms. Giuliano, our robotics and yearbook teacher. All right, Ms. Giuliano, what does respect look like to you? What does it look like to me? Well, a lot of times you hear people say respect means to do unto others as you would have do, done unto you. But I'd like to take that a step further. And I think it is not just looking at how you'd want to be treated, but thinking about the person you're talking to and treating them the way that you think they should be treated as well. Because the way I want to be treated might be different than the way someone else would want to be treated. So it's just giving some thought to other people's feelings, ideas, and mostly when you're listening, listening to actually hear a person, not just to give your ideas about what you think, truly listening to people, truly being present, and truly respecting what their feelings and thoughts are on whatever you're talking or doing. All right, that's a great response. Thank you. You're welcome. The girls' soccer team will be selling Halloween-themed wristbands and lunch this month for October. If you would like to buy a wristband to support your girls' soccer team, they are being sold for $1. If you buy a wristband for $2, you can pick out of the mystery box for a spooky surprise. If you miss buying a wristband at lunch, look for Miss Sakola in the quad on Fridays after the 211 bell. Greenspun JHS is excited to announce an opportunity for our 8th grade females to visit SECTA. SECTA has partnered with Career and Technical Education Department of Clark County School District to promote hashtag girls sin STEM, an event providing middle school girls with technology and STEM experiences as they relate to current and demand careers in Nevada. Part participants will explore a variety of tech technology related to career opportunities such as graphic design, information technology management, digital photograph, engineering, animation, and more. Students will attend these sessions and participate in hands-on activities to build their confidence and familiarity with technology and STEM careers. Lunch will also be provided for the students. This event will take place on November 17, 2023, approximately 8.30 a.m. to 1.38 p.m. at Secta High School. If you are interested, please contact the 8th grade counselor at murdon at nv.ccsd.net. We will be limited to 30 students, so participation will be based on order of student response. <laughs> Those are today's announcements. Have a great day.